All right, in this section of the course, we are going to be starting to work with a new repository, and we want to be up here in the testing java-junit5 repository. And we're, we'll go through this here in just a second, but again, um, I'm following Java 11 in this course, also saying that we're going to be sticking with Maven on this project as well. I'm saying 3.5.2 or higher. You'll probably, again, be okay with uh, Java 8. So as far as I know, I'm not using any higher level language features, but I am developing on the Java 11 JDK. Let's jump over to IntelliJ and let's take a quick look at this project. So if you've taken my Spring 5 course, this project is going to look very familiar to you. This is a replica of the Spring Pet Clinic project that we go through in the uh, Spring 5 course that I have. But a nuance there is I've gone through, and let's take a look at the owner controller. I've gone through and removed all the Spring stuff, all the annotations that uh, allow Spring to do all its magic. And we're going to use this for writing tests against. It gives us a number of different test cases that we can run. If you're familiar with Spring, it, you don't need any Spring knowledge for this section of the course. None is going to be involved. But if you're familiar with Spring, a lot of the stuff follows a POJO model. So here's a uh, owner controller, he calls out to the owner service, or let's uh, come up here. So uh, we have an owner service, and then there's implementations. So we can see like there's a, a map service, and then that calls to a repository. So this gives us a number of opportunities to set up tests that we can run against and do different complex tests as we get further down the line. The one thing I did add in here is there's a package called Spring. I've replicated Spring Framework objects. There's a handful that we use inside the controllers. So I'm replicating those, but these aren't actual Spring implementations. Bring up the POM, and we see here in the POM, I brought in the Java Validation API. That is a, a standard Java X library, so I didn't have problems with doing that. We have Apache Commons. That gives us some utilities. And then we just have the JUnit dependencies. And then again, the build dependencies. So what we're doing is we're mimicking a real Spring MVC project, but without any Spring. So it allows us to focus on just the Java classes. And the way this is laid out, controllers, those are going to be simulated web controllers. Faux Spring, I mentioned, those are replacement objects for the Spring objects. Formatters, we only have one in there that does some magic there. So we can write a test for that. And then model, if you're familiar with Hibernate, these are POJOs that would ultimately get to, persisted to the database. But we've taken away all the Hibernate and JPA annotations, so we just have pure POJOs to work with. So we'll mimic or pretend that they're getting saved to a database, even though they won't be. We're not going to be addressing any database testing in this uh, section of the course. And then finally, we do follow the repository model. If you remember from, or if you did take the course, uh, we are using, or Spring Data JPA implements a repository method, or model, and CRUD repository is a Spring interface. I've brought that over here. And in a Spring project, Spring Data JPA would provide the implementation for that. So we don't have implementations for that, but we can still work with test around that. And then uh, we have services, and we implemented all our services following interfaces. And then we provided two different implementations. One is a hash map back implementation. Another is a JPA backed implementation. But the JPA implementations, those are just taken repositories, and all we have are interfaces for that. So in this section of the course, we're going to be focused on unit testing. This application would never run. It's not going to uh, hook up to a website at all. The purpose of having this is to give us something realistic to work with. We'll get familiar with this object model and the programming model here as we go through the course, because I, I do want to use this as we go through learning about JUnit. And then with all the interfaces and different types that we've implemented here, we'll have some nice opportunities to implement mocks, both manually and with Mockito. So we're definitely going to be working with this for a while, but it's not a web application, but I wanted to give you something realistic to work with as we progress through using JUnit.